There's Jason Dana May Barb. The biggest thing for Jason is confidence. He can do the jumps. He's perfect in the air, but he has a little bit of doubt on the landings. And as we all know, you just cannot doubt yourself on the landings. He nailed that beautiful triple flip there. But he is also a skater that is born to perform. He reminds me a little bit of a young Kurt Browning. And he really has that in him. He's going to light up the crowd. There he is with coach Jose Normand. What will he light up this crowd with tonight? We asked Jason Daname about his short program. This year my short program is a funky number. Actually it's a disco number uh, from the 70s. And uh, it was picked at the last minute. It's called uh, Pick Up the Pieces. Pick Up the Pieces at the last minute. Mm, I wonder. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great number. It's funny. It's, it's moving a lot. Uh, the only thing is that it's, it could be tricky for me because I have to uh, try to, to make it look really funky and really um, in a disco manner way. And it's really hard for me because I never did that before. And I hope I'll be able to show it this weekend. It's a really good number though. It's funny. <laughs> it's tricky. Well, we'll see the trickster. He's Barb Underhill, a lot of talk about that abductor muscle pull that is slowly getting better and better almost elvis stoiko says but he has to always keep it warm and skating last sometimes can be a disadvantage although he loves the drama well definitely he's got to try to keep it warm after the the warm-up and i think usually you want to skate towards the end of the group but for elvis it, it may hurt him a little bit because he's got to keep that groin area warmed up and he'll have a long wait after after that warm-up finished fourth last week at skate america Here's the required elements list for the men's short program. Not included on that list, well there it is, the possibility of a quad jump. Absolutely, and this is looking a lot different this year. It's opened up a whole new bunch of options here because you can not only do a triple axle, but you can also do the quad. But the tricky part here is that the quad or the triple must come out of connecting steps, which as you know, may preclude many of the the uh, men from even attempting it. They might as well call that required element uh, the Stoico rule, because really, with what he has done and been able to push the envelope over the last few years, that's why the quad has been included. And here is the first competitor picking up the pieces, Jason Daname, fifth place at the Canadians, our first skater in the men's short program. One of the most talented young skaters in Canada today. However, that talent hasn't quite yet translated into results. Maybe it will here. Opening with the toughest jump here. Triple axle. combination is a triple lutz double loop jump. He's really got to check out on the lutz here in order, order to get the loop in and he does. He's required to do six rotations on each foot here in this spin. jump out of footwork step. He's doing a triple 
little flip. Uh oh, unfortunate miss there. Jason Dana May from Long A, Quebec, whose marks after this. Long A may make the cover of a Teen Beat magazine, but does he have all the goods to, to get to that Kurt Browning quality you talk about? He's got to get a bit more aggressive, especially on his landings here. He's perfect in the air, and you can see just a hint of doubt there on the landing. And this was should have been landed the triple flip he should have checked out really hard right there instead he reaches for the ice and that just tells me he doesn't quite believe that he can do it he's got to get more aggressive he's got loads of talent these marks will be low not only reflected in the fact that he missed some things but also because he's the first skater and always a tough spot to skate in Zero, it's tough also zero, because if you're not perfect, zero, you may five get zero, forgotten. Four, eight, five, zero, Jason Dana May. Well, the two, Hamilton two. Steelheads had a bye this week because of figure skating. The but don't forget our CTV head power play returns. The Steelheads are in the...